Good morning. You know, ever since Marco Polo returned from Europe with tales of exotic China, its vast population, its huge wealth, foreigners have had a dream about China, a dream that won't go away. And that dream is becoming more vivid now that China is moving into its third stage of development. Modern China is moving into its third stage of development. The first phase was 1978 until the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. And in that, China took these baby steps towards capitalism, like it let collective farmers choose which crops to plant. The second phase was post Tiananmen Square until the global financial crisis. And in that, China moves step by step by step to modernize its economy. In that, China attracted foreign investors, learned from them. It grew into the world's second biggest economy. China was living the dream, factory to the world. The funny thing, though, was that it wasn't the West's dream. No, because the West's dream was to sell a billion of everything to China. Just one American fur pelt, one bolt of British cotton, one iPhone to every Chinese. What riches to be had. This is the foreigner's dream of China. But that wasn't the dream that happened. But never mind, because foreign companies made good money selling those made in China goods back to their home country. So even though it wasn't the dream that foreigners had, by and large, the wishes of the West coincided with the desires of China. You know, there's this Chinese saying, sometimes a husband and wife are sleeping in the same bed, but they're dreaming different dreams. Well, now modern China is moving into its third stage of development. And it's a time in which China is paradoxically collect, connected much more closely to the rest of the world. But it doesn't need the rest of the world as much as it once did. In 2008, the Communist Party in Beijing watched with alarm, as all of us did, as the West triggered the global financial crisis. When people around the world stopped buying because their incomes fell, more than 20 million Chinese people lost their jobs. 